thank you guys for waiting for part two. Here it is. <clears throat> uh, why, why do you push me? Because you're getting on me, Patricia, and my friend's nerves. I'm sorry, okay? The next day. Cat, <clears throat> wake up. Oh, uh, what is it, Dad? You're going to miss the bus. Oh my god, I totally forgot. Get dressed. Bye, Dad. I love you. Bye, Cat. Get to school. Hi, Patricia. Oh, hi, Cat. I wanted to say sorry about what my friend did back there. I don't really care about what your friend did to me. I didn't want you to explain why you were acting like a jerk to me. Wow, Cat, I've never seen the side of you before. Well, the reason that I've been so mean is because I've been using you. When we were little, your mom and my mom used to always connect. We used to be friends. <laughs> but I was just using you back then. I realized a pathetic person like you would be perfect in the future to use. So, of course, as you can clearly see, <laughs> I've been using you this whole entire time. But when your mom went missing... My mom decided it would be a great thing to try and marry your dad. But then my mom found out your dad is just really poor. And my mom can't marry a poor person like your dad. My dad isn't poor. When my mom went missing, there was nothing that he could do. He couldn't get the money from my mom or anything like that. You don't know how hard it was just to be alone with your dad. Sweetie... You don't need to say anything about that. <laughs> You're just a loser. Now, if you mind, I need to go. No, Patricia. Listen to me. Huh? You might be a bully. You might have used me, but there's nothing that's where you can take away from me. You can't take away my identity. You can't take away my life. You can't take away the love I have for my dad. No matter my mom went missing, she still loves me. I don't know if she's dead and alive, and that doesn't matter. Or I know wherever she is, she still loves me. I don't know the reason why she went missing, but all I know is that you're a heartless monster, and you do not have feelings for other people. Um, uh, goodbye, Patricia. I have to have a happy life, not ending up in heaven. Walks away. Wow. I never heard her say that to me before. Am I really a heartless monster? Yo, Patricia, what you doing? It's nothing, Casey. Um, me and Kat just had a little talk. It was just very struggling. I hope you saw that disgusting freak what we were about. Yeah, I did Anyways, Patricia, we need to talk. What? We saw your IQ. Um, little papers hanging up in the hallway. And we saw you got a 45 IQ. And she got a 100. If you can't get your little smart brain up there, you won't be in this club no more. You know what? I actually want to cook the club. There's something that Kat told me that might have actually changed my life from now on. You're going to li listen to a pathetic loser? You know what? She isn't a loser. She's so bad I can be a heartless monster and a jerk sometimes. She loves people in her life that she can't handle getting expressed. She had to borrow up in her. And I understand why she had to come out here and now. I just... I just wish I saw it sooner. Wow. Patricia, it sounds like you're becoming one of those weak people. So what if I am? I'm sticking out for her and for me. Walks away. Patricia's a nerd now. At lunch. Hey, Kat, can we talk? Patricia, what did I tell you? I don't want to see you no more. And I don't think I want you to be my friend no more. Why can't you just, like, stay away from me? I give you everything. What do you want from me? Actually, Kat, I wanted to apologize. You actually opened my eyes up to what I really was. I created that silly bullying group, 
And I want us to become friends again. Real friends. For real, Patricia, you're not playing no jokes. No, I'm not using you. As our head can be to be a heartless monster sometimes. But please, Kat, I want to start over as real friends. Make your mom proud. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? I don't want to be friends with a heartless monster that has bullied my, my whole life and just found out that she's been using me. No, I'm not going to be your friend. And no, I don't want to start over and don't talk about my mom ever again. You're so stupid. Thinking I can trust you? Hi, guys. This is the end of part two. Part three will come out tomorrow. I love you, my peeps.